When it comes to the progression and advancement of Diablo 4's gameplay, for whatever reason, and I can't explain it, it seems like they've adopted this methodology of one step forward, two step back. I don't understand it, I can't explain it, but if you look at past as an indication of what's coming in the future, it looks like we are going to be taking one step forward and two step back when it comes to the live seasonal content of Diablo 4. Now, before I get into the discussion of this topic, I do want to mention a lot of you watch my content and yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. It helped my channel grow, reach out and get out to more people. And at the end of the day, that's why I created this channel. I want to get to as many people as possible with my message. So if you could hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Now let's get back to the details. Now it's beyond me why the devs at Blizzard would take this approach. Now, whether they're doing it on purpose, whether they're doing it by accident, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that they have two different teams developing this seasonal content, the odd season team and the even season team. And for whatever reason, the odd team just can't get it right whereas the even team seems to be delivering like i've said in prior videos i can't explain it no one can explain it no one can explain why the blizzard team and devs at diablo 4 do not continue to build on the momentum when they have a positive season and there's no greater example than the current state right now we are coming off or sorry we are in the middle of probably the most successful season, season four. Now, yes, there is a season five PTR testing going on right now on Battle.net. However, we are currently in season four, which no one can deny is going to be labeled the best season in Diablo 4 to date. I don't understand why Blizzard team would not take that momentum into season five and carry it also through season six, which is the Vessel of Hatred. We can't explain it. I don't understand it. A lot of a lot of us are shaking our head. We don't understand it because as of today, unless there's some major, major changes in what's coming down in season five, through the feedback they received through the seasonal season five PTR. And that is a possibility. Maybe there is going to be major changes and updates vis-a-vis -vis through the feedback of the PTR that's gonna change the tone of season five. But having said that, if it stays the way it is, <laughs> it's a shit show. Season five is going to be two steps back in the Diablo four dance. So I don't understand why they wouldn't build the momentum that they created from season four. However, this video is not a glass is half empty kind of video. I want this video to be the glass is kind of half full because regardless of what happens in season five, whether it stays at its current state with some minor tweaks and season five just becomes an in-between to the Vessel of Hatred season six uh, on October 8th. At the end of the day, there are positive good days ahead, in my opinion, in Diablo 4. The Vessel of Hatred is going to be a banger. They will have to do a major, major screw up in order to kill what's going to potentially be an amazing season six, the Vessel of Hatred expansion. There is a lot of content that they've promised us that on paper looks amazing and we have to hope that they are going to deliver on that promise and then season six vessel of hatred expansion is going to be a step forward in the diablo 4 dance i do truly believe that now i have no idea whether or not they're going to fix season five after they receive the ptr feedback i don't know to be quite honest i don't think that they are they may do some fine tuning a lot of people including myself feel that they are putting the majority of their resources on vessel of hatred season six to ensure that they get it right and deliver and i'll be honest with you i'm okay with that because guys at the end of the day we have to change our mindset where we feel this is like an mmo where you have to spend day in and day out 
grinding the game to do the tasks in order to advance in the game. And in Diablo 4, that's not necessary. So there's no reason to gripe about the fact that you play Diablo 4 for however long. Some people play it for one week in a season. Some people will play two weeks into a season. Some people will play half the season, the full season, whatever. But some people walk away, they wait for the new content to drop, the new season, and they come back and they grind that and they leave when they're satisfied and happy and then they come back. So it's a yin and yang back and forth. And we have to change our mindset. There's nothing wrong with that. There, the ARPG genre and the landscape, there's a lot to choose from. So there's nothing wrong us as players jumping in between all these games, whether it's a season, whether it's a league, whether it's a cycle. And that should give you an idea of what games are out there in the ARPG world that you can play. There's nothing wrong with that. So why should we judge Diablo 4 on the barometer of whether or not someone plays the whole season or not? It's not fair to them. So there's future, the there's brighter, excuse me, brighter days ahead, in my opinion. And season six, I think, is going to be the season, the Vessel of Hatred expansion, that's going to deliver a lot of the play player base to the promised land it's going to be a banger there's a lot of content there so i just wanted to create this video to say look i know a lot of people are down right now when it comes to diablo 4 i get it in my comments and i get people every night on my streams coming in telling me how bad it is and what is going on i get it guys i'm in the same position i stopped i lasted four hours in the season five ptr just because of all the reasons I outlined in a previous video I'm not going to get into it so I get it there's brighter days ahead okay let's just reside to the fact that the odd seasonal team at Diablo 4 dev team just doesn't know what they're doing let's just let's just say that's what it is so every other season we're gonna have to eat coal for the season so one step forward the even seasons two step back the odd seasons hopefully in the future it gets corrected and we're always taking steps forward and never taking steps back but who knows only time will tell but <laughs> brighter days ahead guys season six i truly do believe season six the vessel of hatred expansion on october 8th is going to be a banger so let's hold on to that anyway thanks for watching everybody and like i said in the beginning if a lot of you watch my content but yet do not subscribe so if you could subscribe it would mean the world to me like my videos also hit that little bell notification it'll notify you when i drop content and tell you right away exactly when i'm dropping content this way you can watch it right away if you could subscribe i would appreciate it it helped my channel grow and at the end of the day i want to get in front of a, as many faces and ears as possible we got bigger and better things to do on this channel and i'm super psyched about the future of this channel so please if you can hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it all right everybody thank you for watching let me know what you guys think about this one step back one step forward two step back kind of dance that we're going through right now in diablo 4 what do you think and what do you think of the vessel of hatred do you think they're going to deliver on it like i do anyway thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine healthy debate is always encouraged hate is never welcomed so get over it